have another title fight, our final amateur fight of the night at 140 pounds, 135 pounds. This is the vacated bantamweight title belt up for grabs. The first competitor vying for this championship belt is Juan Vidal. Shout out to our sponsors, Bright Path Video. Check them out. For all of your live streaming needs, go to brightpathvideo.com. Big shout out to MMA Raw Media, MMARaw.org. Big shout out to Kill Aesthetics. Kill Aesthetics Apparel, your athletic wear for any type of athlete you are. Contact uh, my guy Bailey over there. He'll take care of you. Killaesthetics.com. Like Calisthenics. And it's spelled weird, but uh, Kill Aesthetics. Shout out, shout out. Again, big shout out to Czech Aura and the Czech Aura team. <laughs> you know, uh, contact us uh, via IG. Hey, so what we got here? What, what's that in his hands? Where, where? Another title belt. Let's get it. We have another title here. Um, Wait, <laughs> the weight class, we have 140 pounds listed here. It's about to be the 135 pound title. Over the years, he is Juan the Poet Vidal. I like that. The Poet? Kind of smooth. Yeah, all right. His opponent in the red corner, 24 years old, also line, right? undefeated with the exact same record of three wins and no losses. He fights for the GF Club out of Santa Rosa. Here today. This is a title bout. Again, these are uh, obviously veteran fighters in the amateur pro circuit or amateur circuit because they are fighting for a title. No shin pads. They are three minutes, three rounds. Good job, John Tall. All right, look at the stare down there. Intensity from that blue corner. The Pope. Immediately trading. A double underhook. Nice take there. Down from the mat, okay. You can see the jiu-jitsu game, ground game from both fighters at this point. Got good control. A Kamara attempt. You wouldn't traditionally do a Kamara from this angle, though. You'd, you'd want to be side control. There's an easy reversal here, but yeah, you, it, it could be used as a sweep. Watch. If he gets good leverage on it, he can roll his opponent. 
but what you want to do if this is happening to is sit back, put some weight on yourself. All right, good base. Grab your own shorts so your arm doesn't come out. See, let go of it. And let your opponent wear out on his own arms. Sweep here. Nice sweep. Both fighters seem very confident on the map. You don't see anything sloppy. You don't see anything like any panicking from any of the fighters. They're just veteran, ready to go pro. Watch those up kicks, my guy. Oh, they're coming in quick. It's a solid up kick. Yeah. Jukes his way around the guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what would you do in this situation? Just let him get up? Or? Uh, you'll see fighters that are very confident in their hands. Let the opponent get up. Um, to approach the legs that are flailing around, you want to catch at least one one foot. Yeah. And you can roll your opponent if you put their legs behind their head and they just do a backflip. Mm -hmm. Or you try to just dog your way in, like controlling the knees or the, the feet on the outside so that these legs don't get around your neck or around your upper body. Yeah. But one of the basic ideas is both hands in or both hands out, right? You don't want one arm over the legs and one arm under the legs. You want either both in or both out. Oh, and he goes for a, an arm bar uh, attempt there. <laughs> the athleticism. Ended up losing position there. Man. Oh, he takes a knee to the, to the, I don't know, the kidney or your liver. <laughs> Round's over. That was exciting. Came back and forth there. That's anybody's round. The crowd is very loud. I can barely hear myself think. Who needs to hear themselves think? Takedown. Oh man, the buggy choke attempt. Will we see that here? What is that exactly? Uh, it's it's a it's a sneaky submission from your back in a very awkward position. <laughs> I don't know if uh, I'll go for it here. It's possible though. Yeah, I never heard that one. It's a, it's fairly new, like maybe within the last five years it's popular or something like that. Um, I'll show it to you after. <laughs> yeah, he's not going for it. Felix making his way to it. Ah, he's still going for that guillotine. It's such a risk there from the bottom, getting your wrist control trap there. One controlling, like, comfortable on the top there. Full control. Oh, taking shots from the bottom. Not, not two clean ones. Not attempting to uh, progress position or advance position. Oh, watch out for that triangle attempt. Does he have it? It's, it's not in, but there is an arm bar available there, and I think he's cranking the arm bar right. Oh, he's going for it. He can adjust right now for a triangle. Just bring the, the foot in. There you go. That's oh, yeah. a triangle. He's going to get slammed, but... Unfortunately, that wasn't a lot of distance. It made a lot of noise, but that wasn't a high slam. He's got the angle. It's, it's a little high for the triangle. His neck might not be fully, fully caught in it. His head seems to be super deep. 
So what are you trying to do right here to sink it tighter? You got two options for a triangle. You get both of your hands in or you posture up because they need you bent over and to change the ink. See, I would stop slamming and I would just stand up. And he's out. Yeah, that was nice. Juan's out. See, two rounds in, you're slick. It's easier to wiggle your way out of a lot of these submissions. If you're dry or if you had a gi on, be way, di way more difficult. Juan gonna hold this position and maybe advance after a couple of ground and pound shots. See, Felix needs to get an underhook and start scrambling to get back to his feet, but his legs might be a little tired from holding and squeezing that triangle. Juan gonna transition to side control there and go for some ground and pound. Yeah, went out the round, you know? Yeah. Goes for a full mount, gets the full mount. That's gonna be some, some judge uh, nodding there. Yeah. I would I would give this round to one for one? sure. Okay. Um, I mean top control all the way uh, for a good majority of the rounds. take down the zone here. Get on that leg, get a little higher on the leg. He's got it. He just needs to change, change that angle. One swing and for the fences there. Yeah. Okay. Trying to transition into a double there, but weary of his neck. Gets the single. Trying to turn it. It's about it. He's got an opportunity for a double. He's worried about the neck there. Just smart. Get that grip off your neck. Felix charging forward. He knows he needs to win this round. Taking a couple of knees there. Felix getting the takedown. Oh down. no, but almost it's a 50 50. The scramble, scramble, get up. He got a real quick. Juan catching his breath. Seems like he's a little uh, winded there yeah. with all the scrambling. But he's in a decent position to catch your breath, you know? Threatening for the takedown. Don't necessarily need to get it, but you get some time to get your breath back, unless you get punched in the side of your uh, <laughs> ribs there. Felix, you get off the fence and uh, transition for your own takedown, or take the center and keep going. There you go. Keep that distance, and then one, two, one, two, watch out for the takedown attempt. Yes. Look at this trade from both. The Warriors, both fighters exhausted. Yeah, that's a battle. It's all pure will. Get that gold. Who wants it more? Oh, almost got fouled with the knee to the face. Solid shot. This is a fight. Look at that takedown attempt. That takes a lot out of you, man. <laughs> Didn't quite get it there. Get some distance and swing. Kick to the face. Keep going. Finish strong, boys. Finish strong, boys. Ten seconds left. Nice kick. Swing it for the fence. This is so weird. That was awesome. That was a battle. 
Requested the song. There's Will Sonny slapping on his way to the, the event. <laughs> they saw me here, they're like, yo, I got him. <laughs> That's intense. Yeah, especially those last like 10, 15 seconds. Judges have rendered a unanimous decision. Uh, I think we're going to have an intermission after this for the purpose. 29 to 28, 29 to 28, 30 to 27 in favor of the winner and new bantamweight champion in the red corner, Felix El Chapin Cosigua. Felix takes the gold. Great performance by the guy. First of all, congratulations on Felix Queen capture the Bandom Way title. One of the best, most recognized out in the Bay Area. And also we have a translator, the youngest UFC fighter in the roster, Raul Rosa, translator. Uh, the youngest UFC fighter in history. to everybody that came out to watch me. I thank God that I got this title and God bless that I came out safe and I can't wait for the next one. If you missed it, it'll be on YouTube soon, but if not, buy the pay-per-view because you don't want to miss out on any of my fights. Absolutely. Congratulations again. We'll see you next time. Pay-per-view in advance for the next John Wolf fight.